Down here at uh, Timwald uh, sitting today and quite a crowd outside, of course. It's about hospitality and what or is not being provided by government at the moment. Uh, Mr Jockin, you're, you're, you're here at Licensed Vigilers as such, but you've got quite a turnout of the sector. Um, your grievances overall are not enough support, I'm, I'm taking it. Well, it doesn't seem to have been a fair playing field from the start. And I have pointed that out. I have tremendous respect for the government and the way they've handled the whole crisis really and I mean over and above and uh, when they started this Mr Canner especially in the Treasury had to make a, a, a quick assessment of how it was going to be but I'm afraid the one size fits all does not fit and, and our industry I feel has been well I know it's been left some of our industry now a year late oh a year and a bit later a year and four months later are now very desperate because they borrowed their money through the first campaign and they're being expected to borrow coming through the second campaign. I'm afraid it's not there. The government say they can help us get more loans from banks. What good is loans on somebody who is totally bogged down by, by business loans and they just don't know how they're going to carry on? With the PwC reports uh, into the sector, what do you make to this? Well, the PWC report, in my opinion, and, and in most, uh, though we were very late in getting that report, I will have to say that I'm very disappointed we had to wait so long, seeing it was our data that the report was based on. And PWC themselves, and I met with this all the way through, and the DFE and PWC and everything mm -hmm. else, and they actually came out in our favour which I consider to be uh, the fact that was always going to happen. At, at, at the end of this report, it had to be to come out in our favour. The industry, uh, Mr Cannon sent me some figures last night. I'm afraid he's put some in different columns than what we would have done, and it makes it look one way. We can put a, use a, a different set of figures that would make it look another. And I'm not trying to say he's, he's not... He's represented the Isle of Man in the way he thinks, but I'm sorry, our industry has suffered and is suffering. There's no one fits all, as you said. No. So what solution do you think Mr Cannon and Timwell can come up with? Well, there's things like VAT. They say they can't reduce the VAT on booze. I disagree. I think that can be done, uh, especially if it's consumed on Ireland, because that does not affect... Yeah. what happens in the UK uh, and different things the salary support scheme going forward we need it now and it's uh, this is one strange problem the salary support scheme ended at the end of May May everybody has to find that they're 25% down before they can claim salary support it didn't continue to June when TT week would have been in and a lot of firms would have had yeah. a better figures yes, to prove it. And all yeah. of a sudden, no help. And that sounds very strange, doesn't it? You know, uh, One of our members said last week, Andy Saunders, he took eight grand one day, which was a twelfth of what he'd normally do that day, corresponding day, two years ago. Some may say, though, compared with the UK, we've been pretty well off here because you know the pubs have been open much longer. There's in indoor dining and, and drinking and that sort of thing, which is still a, hurt, a bit of a hurdle in the UK. Yes, it is. It's a hurdle in the UK, and I feel sorry for them. It's been put back. And don't forget, now that the the border, the, their restrictions opening up is put back till middle of July, that's going to affect our border opening, which is an obvious thing. It hasn't been decided yet, but one can only consider that that's going to happen. But the UK has had a lot more support financially than we have. Maybe not a lot more, but certainly considerably more. And that they've needed it, I understand. And they've just... Uh, Ricky Sunak has just announced that they're going to have a... a an average of a £9,000 per business to start again. Now, all I'm saying is we had last year, the government, sorry, the government are now trying to help project how they can help businesses move forward. And the island's full of small businesses. 
and that's how it was always and that's what's the beauty of the island but it's okay projecting things to go forward and, and saying we'll get stimulus to go forward we have missed out on a full year with very little funds helping us have they gone, gone under though? I mean, everyone's surviving, are they? No, well, they, su they have survived, but I'm telling you, some of them are very close to bankruptcy at the moment. And it's my worry is not just that. It's the mental strain that the industry's under through lots of debt that's not caused by them. How are they supposed to go through it? A lot of our young people, I I'm fighting for them. I can survive this at the moment okay but I'm fighting for them they are in a position they've been young in business maybe a few years or months or whatever and they've hit a brick wall that they can't get through with financial difficulties what's stress gonna do to them okay, so back to this I mean do you, do you see any fix coming out of this protest and the Timberwolf today well this is not a protest it's a, an appeal all I'm trying to do is appeal to Mr. Cannon to really look into the situation with a fair of mind and, and give us some help. And is his door open? Have you asked for meetings? Have you had meetings? Oh, I've met with Mr. Cannon on three or four occasions and he got in touch with me last night with what his thoughts were. I understand, but... We're here today to put our thoughts, and our thoughts are that we need more help, and it's not a grab for money. I've been in this industry 60 years, 17 in off-license and the rest in on-license, and in all that time I have never seen my colleagues in such a desperate state financially and looking for help, and that's what it's about.